welcome along to our channel. If those of you are new to our channel, my name is Charlotte. I am a mummy to four children, Finlay, Daisy, Teddy and Florence. And today's video is all about minimalism. Again, like I said in my previous video, as much as you can be a minimalist with four children in the house and two adults, I'm going to declutter the kids' bedroom. The house does not belong to us. We, we have house with my husband's work because we move about a lot, so we're never in one place for too long. We stay in one place for a couple of years and then move on. And so we rent this house um, at a subsidised rent. So this isn't how we would have our own home, but everything in it belongs to us. We just wouldn't have our home um, set out like this because it, as much as it's lovely, because it's quite, it's got a lovely big garden and some of the rooms are quite big. It's not, um, we, we need an extra room. It's not quite big enough for us. And the, the stuff needs renovating to, so it's definitely not our, our taste. So the wallpaper and everything else like that is not how we'd have our own house. And so we don't tend to put too much stuff up on the walls. We've got a bit, a few, few paintings here and there, but we don't tend to change it too much because we know we're gonna move on. With two children sharing a bedroom, you accumulate a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna take you with me. So the room is just about as chaotic as it could could be for a video, to be honest. Um, like I said, it's not our house, so we wouldn't have this lovely old-fashioned sink in here if it was. Um, it's a bit random. This thing, she has gym mat, or push shirt she still plays with, which might go, I think. Um, a guitar, uh, everybody has, obviously, quite a, a, a realistic giraffe in their bedroom. This belongs to Finlay. He wanted this for Christmas when he was about 10 because he'd been after it for ages. He does love it. It's called Savannah. And then I've got bedding on the floor um, because I need to make Daisy's bed, which is the bottom bunk. And we have games, books, which you can all need doing. The games are a nightmare. I'm going to leave them like that because they're actually staying put like that. I'm not going to mess with the games because otherwise it just irritates me. But books here definitely need sorting. Books, books, stuff. So cool, craft stuff, Mom's Daisy. That needs doing. The uniform all gets hung up here and any smart dresses and shirts because they share a bedroom and because we need that side, we don't have that much hanging space. Then they've got a dressing up box that's there. We might need to neaten that up. Underneath the dressing up box is a bag with other seasons clothes or stuff that's too big. I put their underwear in here. This needs doing because I think their underwear is all over the place. Doll's house here it needs fixing so I'm going to get Dougie to come up here and fix it today because it's so lovely. Um, which is back to the front at the moment to stop Florence getting in there but it's really lovely and there's something stuffed down there just the joys of tween bedrooms. Inside is all Sylvania stuff so I'll probably get Daisy to make that up look, look nice while I'm tidying up. Then we have the Lego storage head just plonked there at the moment and then we have this mess here. This is something that's broken these fixing together which we all shall do. Got a table which is pretty much a crap table. He's supposed to keep his lightsabers and all his stuff in there. I mean there's a sock on there, a shell, all sorts. We have a chair bed here which is missing because Daisy had a sleepover in Teddy's room. So normally there's a chair bed there so that's why there's a bit of a strange space. Finney's school rucksack still there. And then over to here, this is Finlay's table, full of stuff. So I want him to go through his toy storage himself with me and then declutter all of that. So we're doing Daisy's bed and then, oh, Daisy's clothes. All go, a lot of them all go in this big drawer under here. So I'm gonna pull that out and straighten those up because they'll need doing. And then over to Daisy's, we've got a pull-up bar belonging to Finlay. She hangs a few bits off it. I need to declutter all of this with her and then inside she's got the Ikea tray first of which I'd like to get for the boys as well to make it all the same. She has labelled it herself clearly. Beautiful. And then going down here the alley of more crap. Um, she has supposed to have underwear in there but she keeps taking her underwear out and putting other stuff in there. You sort all that out, sort her tabletop out and um, then clear up and sort out her pictures that she's got like just lying around and get under here which I could just do some kind of under camera thing and just shudder at the thought of what might be under here. They have a secret hole up here, secret passage. Ah, huh, it's actually pretty clear. Separated, so we've separated tights, pants, vests, school socks, 
and Daisy's doing socks up there. So Daisy's done socks and then it looked, she's put this divider in from Ikea like this and she's put trailer socks in. She's done quite a good job, haven't you Daisy? the hair bubble box, the treasure box, her under the, under the bed and all her clothing and underwear. So now we're going to do all her toys and bits and bobs, aren't we Daisy? Yeah. Some bobs in there. It's a special box. She keeps the trolls in. It's a bit awkward but she likes it. She's got surveys in here which we'll probably add to when we've sorted out the doll's house. And then she's got a surveying sort of sets there. They've got um, her dolls in there, which we've taken a few bits out of. And then just a small bits and bobs section. So this is a bit I'm not looking forward to. Coming to the end of doing Daisy stuff. I haven't even started Finlay's. And I've got all this to do. So Daisy's area's done. Her bed's made. I'd like her to get rid of these cushions, but she was a bit adamant about them. So they're staying for now. Um, she, all those drawers are sorted. There's a few broken things there she wants fixing. I couldn't get it apart with a clay pot that she made in there. I find it hideous. But see, so she's keeping that. Um, I need somewhere to put all her little tillies, but for now they've just been put in a basket. She's got a few tillies down the bottom and then this countertop. She has actually got a proper pencil pot, but we broke it. So we just need to fix that along with the other broken things. And then she's just got her trinkets in her music box and her tins um, that she's done herself. As I said, all of these are now sorted here. We've got, just tidied up the whole bookshelf and just kind of using that to prop because I don't have any bookends and they don't seem to get used for anything, but anything little could also go in those little Melissa and Doug wooden boxes that are kind of handy to have. She's got games and jigsaws in here. They're all in cellophane in, in pouches that I've taken the boxes out and then put in Ziploc envelopes, all of them. Jigsaw puzzles, just like Telly's room. I tear out the, the picture, what they're supposed to look like, and then put all the pieces in there. And she's also got a few games in there that the same thing I've done, I've done there as well. And then we've got a big box of stamps and beads, which I put into a big plastic box as well. She's got her so cool, some craft, her build a bear chair thing, which I do find annoying because it takes a bit of space. And then, then she's got um, her doll's hair, girl's world hair thing um, that she does. And all the hair bits for that are put in an old pat lunch box. I find that old pat lunch boxes are really quite handy as long as they're still clean and okay. Most of my children just go off whatever character it is that they have at the time. And so I just reuse them for things. And Daisy has done her sort thing in little house, doll's house. She's tied it up a little bit. We still just need to fix that roof. And then I need to put the lid back on the Lego storage and sort the Lego storage out when I've got Finlay up to do his bits. And as I said, that is her big bag of rubbish. So now it's just over to Finlay. Okay, we're Finlay and he is going to help me tidy up all his table, which is just a complete rubbish tip, isn't it, Finlay? Yeah. Let's get going. We have scaled down all of Finlay's stuff. He's now got art stuff in here, Star Wars cards and bits of Star Wars things in there. He's got this huge big box of Lego. We're going to put some of it in a box that we've emptied everything out of. And he's got some bigger things here that don't fit anywhere. And then he's got his random bits and bobs over there. And we're going to just tidy this up, sort his bed out, and this corner here. Let's get going, Finn. So he's arranged it how he wants it. This is a hideous Star Wars mask. And then he's hung his medals up on there. And all of his drawers are tidy there. This piece of furniture really does need a paint, as does Daisy's bedside table. And I really need to take this little table and chairs out of here and give it to the little one somewhere and bring them a bigger one. But obviously I haven't got one right now to do. But that's on my list of things to do.
So here we are pretty much finished. I have done the cupboards, the doll's house is there, the Lego head is still sorting out, but other than that, I've hoovered, it's all tidied, and as I said before, please do not look at the deck, all these walls are not ours, so this is not how we'd have our house at all. And I've done finished shelf up there, he's got his lamp, his clock, his lights up there. Excuse the giant giraffe on his bed. He's managed to send most of his toys to charity. As he's getting bigger now, so he asked one request, can he sleep with Savannah for one night up there? So we said yes. Look at the lovely cracks in the wall that we have to put up with. And um, so that's his bed all sorted. The windowsill all looking tidy. As I've already said, Daisy's bed is all looking tidy. His area is looking brilliant now. And so going from this angle, the chair bed's back, the little table's all cleared, and that's it sorted. So I've just got that giant bag of rubbish, and then going through charity, charity, charity. All that's for charity, so that's great. So I think they've done pretty well. I'd like to do a few different furniture changes in here at some point and maybe get them a rug and a few other bits and bobs. But as always, that's always ongoing when you've got kids. So, so I hope you've enjoyed this minimalism video of the kids room getting sorted. As I said, there's two children in here. This is not our house, so we have to just work with what we've got. And I think I've managed to store um, declutter brilliantly and take away quite a lot of laundry. I can't take everything away, it can't be completely minimalistic because these are children that live here in this bedroom, there's two of them and they accumulate quite a bit of stuff. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and if you want more of these then please do let me know and I can do more in the house. So press like if you like and please subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.